our new Miss Madison Capital City of 2015 is Tiana Vanderbilt. <laughs> February 22, 2015, will forever be a day to remember as they stood amongst a handful of dedicated, accomplished, passionate, and driven women eager to make a difference, all anxiously awaiting to hear the name of Miss Madison Capital City 2015 called. As I heard my name, my gaze dropped to the floor, my heart consumed with joy, my mind blanking with a rush of emotions as I turned to walk towards Rihanna for my crowning moment. Gratitude, excitement, relief, and eagerness overwhelmed me. Since my very first Badger basketball game in fifth grade, I dreamt of attending UW-Madison for college. But unfortunately, I was waitlisted and ended up attending UW-Lacrosse instead, a school I fell in love with and am proud to call my alma mater. I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. With that being said, my life path has been solidified in numerous ways over my 23 years thus far. One being the moment I was blessed with the opportunity to serve as Miss Madison Capital City. A chance to connect me even more with the city of Madison while illuminating my scanny pride. There's nothing like the sea of red, heritage, and energy that consumes Madison on game day and the zest for life that radiates on a daily basis. With that being said, I am incredibly honored to have served the capital city as a local title holder within the Miss America organization. The past year wasn't an easy one to say the least, but it was certainly rewarding. I juggled technically four part-time jobs. I waitressed, was the weekend DJ for a local hit radio station, floor crew at a television station in La Crosse, and Miss Madison Capital City, all in addition to balancing a full academic load at UWL. I graduated in May with a Bachelor of Science degree in Organizational and Professional Communication Studies and Sports Broadcasting, and immediately began an internship with WXOW News 19 in La Crosse. Soon after that, I placed as a top 11 semifinalist at Miss Wisconsin in June. From personally meeting Bucky Badger, well, one of them at least, volunteering at the Madison Children's Expo, successfully planning and holding a garage sale benefiting Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, thanks to the incredible help from my mom, taking part in the Monona Memorial Day Parade, running my third and fourth half marathons, one of which being the Capital City Challenge. And note that I had the start time wrong for the half marathon and began an hour late, running the first seven miles alone in the rain before catching up to the walkers and runners at the end of the pack. I also participated in Miss America Serves Day in Wisconsin Rapids and volunteered with Children's Miracle Network Hospitals in La Crosse. Just some of the many highlights this year brought it's clear it's been a whirlwind, one that's kept me very busy driving back and forth throughout the state. And by now, I'm pretty sure I could self-fund Starbucks with all the lattes I've purchased. But the travel chaos is an experience I am forever grateful for. All of these accomplishments and incredible memories would not be possible without the love and support from family and friends. Dad, thank you for instilling in me that with hard work and dedication, I can truly achieve anything I set my mind to. I am so fortunate to have your undivided love and support, both emotional and financial, as I chase after my dreams. Mom, every dance recital, soccer game, track meet, basketball game, and pageant, you've been there by my side, rooting me on. You're my biggest cheerleader in life, the one that I confide in and seek reassurance when times get hard and have truly become one of my very best friends. From shopping trips to pageant appearances, you continue to be my wing woman, and I can't wait to see what adventures lie ahead for you and I. Morgan, as sisters, we've always been fixated on our differences, constantly telling people how different we are. But thankfully, the MAO has allowed us to see just how much we have in common. Our dedication to serving our community, passion for Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, and tireless drive to push ourselves and those around us to reaching their full potential. Thank you for your marketing help with my platform logo and for supporting me even though you've aged out. 
Know that my dreams within this organization aren't possible without your love and guidance. Ridge and Reese, you two have been so patient and encouraging as you've sat through countless pageants, watching Morgan and I compete. Know that having you there for us means the world, and I couldn't be more proud of the compassionate, selfless young men you're becoming. Joe and Ron, I've had the pleasure of knowing you both for the past five years, but this job gave us the forum to get to know one another on a deeper level. I cannot begin to express in words how honored I am to have been your title holder and reigned under your expertise and passion for this organization. Thank you for your kind words and help this year and for the future support I know you both will continue to radiate. Love you tons. Thank you to my best friend, Adam, for wholeheartedly embracing the pageant boyfriend role, helping me with interview questions and pushing me to be the best version of myself. I'm so blessed to have someone by my side that shares the same drive I have for accomplishing goals and helping others. Love you, boo. To my grandparents, extended family, the Carlson family, my West Side sisters, past directors, Miss Wisconsin Scholarship Program volunteers, Oktoberfest family members, and Miss Wisconsin Class of 2015, I would not be where I am today without the continuation of love and support you all share. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for being positive lights in my life. With each new title, experience, volunteer opportunity, and person that I've had the chance to meet through my community service, I've learned something new about myself. But more importantly, I continue to learn more about others. I never would have thought when I began competing in this organization my senior year of high school that I would be where I am today in my professional career as a reporter still competing within this program and looking forward to the day I can give back and volunteer my time. I've realized it is much more than a competition or pageant, but a valuable source for scholarships to relieve the burden of college debt, an outlet to serve others, and a family of incredible people that I truly cannot imagine my life without. As our state motto entails, it's time to move forward. As I embark on a new chapter, I will always be grateful of my time serving the Badgerland. With my appreciation and love, I'm your Miss Madison Capital City 2015, Tiana Vanderhei. Something has changed within me. Something is not the same. I'm through with playing by the rules of someone else's game. Too late for second guessing. Too late to go back to sleep. It's time to trust my instincts. Close my eyes and leave. It's time to try to find gravity. I think I'll try. says they're so some things i cannot change but till i try i'll never know 